Are you guys positioning for higher inflation? Yeah, inflation is really not our concern. Uh, we are positioning for higher rates in certain cases. And as we heard from some of the economic data, the increase that we're seeing in, in, uh, in rates is really not driven by core inflation, which is generally the driver. I think what we're seeing is the rollback of QE and some of the sterilization of the money supply uh, resulting in higher expectations around rates. So we're, we're preparing for that, but we're not really seeing significant evidence of inflation in the real economy. What I also find interesting is if we wind up having the surge in rates that we've seen in the last few weeks, if you take a look at the corporate credit market, for sure. example, if you come inside the Bloomberg, uh, triple C rated junk bonds are at the tightest since they've been since 2014. That's that white line. The blue line is uh, single B rated junk bonds. Uh, they're at the tightest that we've seen since 2007. Yeah. When does that change? I think the, the real catalyst um, for change would be a couple fold. I think, first of all, um, a, a negative uh, a negative trajectory in the real economy. So if we started to see a default cycle again, that would be the biggest, uh, the biggest potential concern. But we don't see that. I mean, the economic data you saw it this morning and the data that came out is really, really positive. Uh, so we, we would certainly be surprised in the near term uh, to see that manifest itself. Um, although we do see some scope for potential price volatility driven by more technical factors. Mm -hmm. So this unwind of QE that we're seeing a little bit of impact in the Treasury markets, for example, the Bund market moving, uh, we think that there are potential knock-on effects as you see the central banks pulling back from uh, the, the Treasury markets and certain areas of corporate credit that they played in, in the investment grade side in Europe. You could see that travel to different parts of the corporate credit market as you see uh, the, that government bid erode uh, and then you see that travel to different asset classes, it could move prices.